using sports as a tool for peace and unity. That's what refugees from South and Sudan are doing in Cairo. The young basketballers come to play together every week with the hope that one day both their countries will be united despite the political rift between both nations. Twice a week, refugees from Sudan and South Sudan gather in a church courtyard to play basketball, driven by their love for the game and unfazed by political differences at home. The group that comes together to show off their slam dunks and three-pointers include Christians and Muslims. Some of them have lived in Egypt since before their two countries divided in 2011. We've all been friends, even since before the split. We used to play ball in the north, before it was two separate states. We used to play before it became divided into south and north. But there is no politics between us, none of that at all, here. We just play ball, and are all really good friends. The refugees play on a court attached to the College de los saint Fermi church in the bustling general neighborhood of Ramses. Without access to a formal club, the space provided to them by the church is the only option to play the game they love. The group draws on a pool of roughly 90 South Sudanese and 40 Sudanese players and around 30 others from elsewhere in sub-Saharan Africa. Sport brings the whole world together. If you notice that around the world, you find countries that are at war with each other. But when it comes to sport, we all unite. Here is the same. There is no differentiation between those from the north or south Sudan. Wars in Sudan are political wars, not social. This means that we are all brothers in the end. While back home, their countries are riddled with political divisions. Players from both Sudan and South Sudan say that on the pitch, they are friends. One of the players says he wants to follow in the footsteps of late NBA basketball player and refugee Manu Tebo, a native of his South Sudan hometown of Turale. Great hope. Finally on the program, U.S. rapper Ye, popularly known as Kanye West, has met with Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni on his trip to Africa. President Museveni in his tweet welcomed Mr. Kanye and his wife Kim Kardashian, saying that they held fruitful discussions on how to promote Uganda's tourism and the arts. The president was gifted a pair of white sneakers by the rapper, which was also autographed for him. Mr. West says that he wants to finish his latest album on the continent in nature and at a location where his children could be with him. And we draw the curtains on Network Africa for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Anne Wawadu.